All right, this lesson is going to be for SketchUp, and we're going to be drawing this screwdriver. In the Intro to Tech class, uh, you most likely have already made this screwdriver. Hopefully, it's going to be pretty easy to identify um, some of the dimensions like length and width and where the holes are, but I'm going to review it anyways. So, um, I guess the first thing we're going to look at is just the length. It's 2 and 3 eighths by 3 quarters of an inch and it's 3 30 seconds of an inch thick. So in SketchUp, what you want to do is first go to the View menu, press Toolbars, and make sure that you have the Measurements box checked. It probably isn't right now, so you want to check that. The Getting Started should also be checked. Now in the lower left corner, you're going to see it says Measurements. So I'm going to first pick a rectangle and what you don't want to do is hold your mouse button down. Do not hold your mouse button down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to left click. So left click. I'm going to move my mouse in the direction I want to draw. This looks pretty good. So now I'm going to let go of my mouse without clicking. And I'm going to type 2 space 3 slash 8 inches comma space three quarters of an inch it wouldn't matter if you didn't do the quotes um, I do have a space after the comma but basically the way you enter dimensions in is length comma width um, alright so I'm going to hit enter and my screwdriver is way down here so I'm going to hit the eraser I'm going to erase the little guy there and just zoom in. Um, the way that some students mess this up is if you hold down your mouse button, you let go, you can't change the dimension. So you want to undo if you did that. Um, also just know that um, if you start a rectangle and you type it in dimension like 4 comma 3, if you move your mouse after that, then whatever you just typed in went away. So rewind the video if you if you didn't do that. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, push pull. So left click, get it going the right direction I that I want, and I'm going to type it in three slash thirty two. All right. So now I'm I'm done with. Uh, I basically have my piece of metal. The next thing is we have two holes. We have this large hole here. If you look here, it's five eighths over from the left. And if you look over here, it's a half inch down from the top. So in SketchUp, what you want to do is you want to use the measurement tool, tape measure. And I'm going to um, left click on the top edge, and I'm going to type in 1 slash 2 for half. Or I could look on the screen, for example, if I click on this edge, I look on the screen it'll say 5 8 so you can either type it in or move it carefully um, so now I have that done the small hole here is 5 16 down from the top and 5 16 over from the left side so what I'm going to do is the same thing I'm going to go 5 16 and left click here and go down 5 sixteenths like that. All right, if you look at the diameter of the hole, it's 5 sixteenths. In SketchUp, you have to type the radius. So what you do is you do 5 divided by 16. Gives you the decimal, divide by 2. So we'll just do three decimals, 0.15625. So in SketchUp, do a circle and I would type in 0.15625. That's how you do that. A number 11 drill is 0 0.1910. So you would basically divide that by 2. So the radius of a number 11 drill would be 0 0.0955. 
so point zero nine five five. Remember not to hold your mouse button down. Once you have that, you can push pull these two circles. All right, so it's looking good. Um, you don't have to do this, but I'm going to go ahead and erase these measurements by clicking them and hitting the delete key, but if I were you, I'd leave them on. So the next thing in the SOLIDWORKS drawing are the two lines you have to um, cut with a hacksaw. So notice that this one is a quarter inch down, and this one right here is three-eighths over, and they connect tangent to the circle. So what you do is use your measurement tool, go down a quarter of an inch, and this side go over three-eighths. I'm just typing these in. Use the pencil tool to go there, tangent to the circle. Once you have that, you should be able to push-pull this thing away. And if that circle is still there, you can use the eraser to get rid of it if you want. Um, next thing we have to do is called the arc command. So I'm going to click the arc. I'm going to click here and here. And I'm just going to move it out. 16th there. And then this one here, you can push pull this. Like that. Um, <clears throat> we're not going to do the tapering. So, pretty much, if you have um, what I have here, then you are done. What you need to do is um, you want to zoom into it and type your um, initials. So you could use the text command. Actually, not your initials. Type your first and last name. Like that. Um, zoom into it and go File print. What you want to do is not have this check. Use model extends. Do not check that box. Uh, fit to page is a good idea and it would also be a good idea if you went to the properties and printed landscape. So if you can do that it will print bigger. And just make sure you're picking the right printer in the classroom, and that's it. All right. Thanks for watching.